Hi, everyone. Let's take a look at the following example. A forest ranger spots a fire on a bearing of 50 degrees from her station. She estimates that the fire is about 10 kilometers away. A second station is due east of the first. A ranger in the second station thinks that the fire is about 8 kilometers away from him. How far apart are the two stations to the nearest kilometer? Step number one, draw a diagram. When you think about the bearing system, you have to be mindful that you're starting from north. So again, a bearing system means you start from north and you can go clockwise, which is going to be, in this case, 50 degrees. So it's going to look, roughly speaking, something like that. Again, the first sentence when it says a forest ranger spots a fire on a bearing of 50 degrees from her station, it's referring to this angle starting from the north going clockwise by 50 degrees. Step two, you're going to draw the actual diagram, which looks something like this. We'll use a different color for your reference. So if you think about 90 degrees and you have a 50 degrees uh, from the first sentence, 90 minus 50 is going to be 40. So this angle is going to be 40 degrees. Again, I'm going to label this as station number one. So there are two stations. This is station number one on the left bottom corner, just like that. Now, in the second sentence, it says she estimates that the fire is about 10 kilometers away. So the distance is going to be 10 kilometers, just like that. The next sentence says a second station is due east of the first. That means it's on the right hand side, which is somewhere here. Now, we don't really know the location yet. We're going to solve this in a moment. So maybe it's going to be here. Maybe it's going to be here. Maybe it's going to be here. We don't really know. We're going to find out by going through the next step. So again, I'm just going to put a question mark here to kind of come back to. And it says um, a ranger in the second station thinks that the fire is about eight kilometers away from him. So we're assuming this distance could be, for example, eight kilometers. And we need to know, does this form one triangle? two triangles or no triangle. So again, not to overstate this, in general, when you think about a triangle, if the third length is like that, it's not going to connect. So there are no triangles. Or it may be long enough to form a right angle triangle, which will be case two, one triangle. And of course, the third case is it's longer than the original height, and therefore there are two triangles. This is also known as the ambiguous case. So again, let's find out. You're comparing two things. You want to compare this length, 8, relative to the height. I'll grab a different color for you. The height is basically this measurement right here. Let's call this h. And of course, if you think about this from grade 10 math, sine of 40 degrees is opposite over hypotenuse. So the height is going to be 10 sine 40. And all you're trying to do is to compare these two numbers to find out if there's going to be one triangle two triangles or no triangles. So 10 sine 40 uh, degrees. If you grab a calculator in degree mode, 10 times sine of 40 degrees, that's going to be approximately 6.4. So we know that A is going to be greater than 6.4. So this means there are two triangles. There are two triangles. Therefore, two triangles, again, to be very clear, the two triangles could be either here or, let me erase all this. So the two triangles could be either here or here. Again, the diagram's an approximation, but we're going to draw this out better for you on this side. So again, when we divide this into two different columns, here's the first triangle, which looks roughly speaking something like this. And in the second case, you can have the obtuse triangle, which looks, roughly speaking, something like that. Again, you can think about this with the same measurements. So for example, 40 degrees, it's going to be the left bottom corner. This is still going to be 10 kilometers. This is still going to be 8 kilometers. And your goal is to find the distance. So the distance we can call x in uh, each case. Again, you cannot solve for x immediately. You have to solve for the other unknowns. So again, you can call this uh, station one, station two. I'm just going to call this A, B, and C to make it a bit more um, straightforward. So 
the first step is to apply the sine law and write down sine b divided by 10 equals to sine of 40 degrees divided by 8. You can grab a calculator. Here's how you do it. You turn it on. You press clear. You press 10 times sine of 40. You're going to divide this by 8. You're going to take the inverse sine of the answer. So that's going to be approximately 53 degrees, which is going to be here. But remember, there are two cases. If you take 180 minus 53, that's going to be 127, which is the second case, which is the obtuse triangle. And again, if you go back to the first triangle, remember 180 degrees is the total of all three angles. 180 minus 40 minus 53 is going to give you 87 degrees. If I hop over to the second triangle, same idea, 180 minus 40 minus 127, that's going to be 13 degrees. So once you have all the angles, you're now ready to solve for x. Now to save a bit of space, I hope you're copying it down. If not, you can pause the video first, but I am going to erase this bottom part. And to find x, what you can do is write down x divided by sine of 87 degrees equals to, I'm going to go back and use the original information, which is going to be 8 divided by sine of 40 degrees. Again, I grab my calculator. I'm going to work it out. I press 8 times sine of 87 degrees. Divide that by sine of 40 degrees. And that's going to be approximately 12.4 kilometers. Now, I would like you to pause the video, try the second case. And when you press play again, I'll be here. Welcome back, everybody. So in the second case, you can press X divided by sine of 13 degrees, which equals to, again, I'm using the original information. That's going to be 8 divided by sine of 40 degrees. So in this case, it's going to be 8 times sine of 13 divided by sine of 40. And that's going to be 2.8 kilometers. So when it says how far apart are the two stations, if you round this to the nearest kilometer, this would be 12 kilometers approximately, and this would be 3 kilometers approximately. So again, you can write a final statement. Let me grab a text box. Therefore, the two stations are about 12 kilometers or 3 kilometers apart. We'll put this on the right bottom corner for you, just like that. If you find this video meaningful, it's adding value to your math life, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. I hope this makes sense.